Hello everybody, how's everybody doing? Awesome! As you can see, welcome to Do's and Don'ts of Reviewing My Little Pony. Uh, this is just my uh, well, little thing I learned over the years, and um, we're going to share some knowledge, that, knowledge with you guys. So the first question some people may be asking is, why am I doing this? you got nothing better to do. <laughs> well, actually, there's other reasons too. One of them is I've been strictly doing audio recaps on the Roundtable's Magic Podcast. This guy's... Uh, um, audio podcast, so check that out. Who's familiar with Roundtable is Magic? Me! You people Me. are, cool. Okay. We actually just got done filming one uh, for this uh, today's episode. It's gonna go up tomorrow. It's gonna feature just me, Voice of Reason, Monica Common, Sake Sister, and Dulcet Tone. So, it will be back on regular schedule, like, next week. So. Yes. I'm um, just familiar with Roundtable in general. Okay. So, I, even though I haven't been, I've been strictly doing the audio recap, so I haven't had a lot of time to do video reviews. Um, primarily because of my uh, my hectic work schedule, working at two in the morning um, most days, or working a double shift, two in the morning and then two in the afternoon, and then going to two in the morning the next day. That's always fun. <laughs> um, These poor guys like drain a lot of the time we talk, and I feel bad. Um, Give why... us your Oh, thank you, dear. Aww. Why I Aww. need to make this announcement, and this is actually why I mentioned in my um, my uh, my uh, Philicon announcement video. So let me clip. There we go. After season six concludes and the Milo Pony movie gets released, I'm officially retiring from video reviews. Oh. Oh, wow. This is um, it's a it has been a very hard decision about whether I want to continue doing this stuff, but I think that it's time. Um, I think it's time that I want to focus more on my career um, and getting uh, like a full time job as a, actually a full time editor um, so, uh, somewhere in either. Uh, news or movies or anything broadcast, um, but and as a result, this is my way of passing on knowledge to future reviewers and analysts for season seven onward. So hopefully, what you attain from uh, what I have here, you guys learn for uh, for for the next generation of reviewers. So the big question is, why review the show? Uh, hopefully, you guys can see this. Um, Pick it in the lights. And, uh, uh, yeah, actually, if someone can hit the lights I'll in the back, money. thank you. Uh oh, yeah, yeah, I got it. Uh, what were we? One more. Uh, last one. Thank you. Hey. All right, can everyone see the screen? Yeah. Well, I can barely see you on the camera, but like. That's fine. That's fine. Everyone needs to just focus on the screen right now. Um, so one of the big things is why would you want to view the show? Here's a couple of do's that. Uh, that, that it would get you involved in now with you in the show. One is provide feedback to the show staff. Now, I know not a lot, uh, from what I heard, uh, the the writers and some of the voice actors aren't allowed to listen or watch reviews on the channel, but it's always nice to uh, give uh, give either constructive constructive feedback, positive and negative. Oh, I, I like the show, here's why I liked it, or I didn't really like this episode, here's, what, here's how it could have uh, improved. Although I swear, Josh Haber has seen my reviews. He paraphrased <laughs> me twice. So, uh, so if for one, uh, so if someone is able to uh, uh, hear this out, maybe you can, uh, maybe we can get it out there. Another reason is it's the internet voice to voice your own opinion. If you have something to uh, bring something new to the table, say, oh, I have this brand new perspective I wanted to bring to uh, this topic, or I wanted to, oh, someone didn't get to do this type of uh, perspective on this. Uh, episode or comic or music or whatever. Like, I want to bring that to the table. This would be great. I say go for it. And also, because it's fun to riff on the show. It really is. <laughs> uh, how many people have seen uh, analysts react to the season six premiere uh, on Cell Switch channel? Oh my shit. Okay, I'll just say it out there. That was the most fun I've ever had poking fun at the show. Because, uh, it's one, it, because one of the things is we're, most of us are comedians. Uh, we take the show and make it our own stuff, like yeah, Nostalgia Critic, Ankara, uh, Spoonie One, Nash, and Radio Dead Air. Uh, so many other uh, YouTube personalities. And Voluminous. The, is that saying it? Voluminous. 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 He does everything wrong with, with the episodes. Oh, they, oh. At the air. Oh. And like, air like a week there. I've not watched Voluminous stuff, so. I, I highly recommend it. Uh, okay. Okay. And um, so, you are 
able to come up with ten jokes on Flurry Hart's wings. Oh my god, I was so I was having so much fun trying to say, okay, what can I do to make fun of Flurry Hart's wings? Can I provide some clarification on one of these? Yes. So when it comes to voicing your own opinion, uh, the question that has come up a lot, and I think we actually discussed this at our panel, if someone's already done it, the whole reviewer dips thing, why should I do it? Here's the thing. Everybody has pretty much reviewed everything, but when you want to approach it, it all depends on how you want to provide perhaps a different, like, uh, this, I was about to say perspective. There perspective. Go. <laughs> uh, I know. That's something else in my head. Provide a different perspective. To, yeah, we do not need to bring up that KP thing. No, no, no. But, no, no. but it's always good to bring up a different perspective. But here's what you don't do. Don't do one then. Do it for the 15 minutes of fame. But voice, I want to be famous like you! Well, here's the thing. If you're, if you're only doing it to get famous, if you're being on a panel like this, get invited to conventions, get out the door. Door's right there. Because we... Okay. I think... Sit back down. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the other... other uh, because if you're not doing this for, you know, uh, for fun or uh, just for... Um, or just to get close to some of your favorite yeah. YouTubers. Yeah, it's, there's more of a reason. This is about you. This is about what you have to contribute. It's about what you want. Another thing we don't want to do is project hate or cause drama. Because, Good like, if the, again, like, the Broadway fandom is already a giant sense pool of drama and hate. We don't need adding, we don't need you adding more fuel to the fire. Yeah, if you're gonna review this, don't don't slam one of the writers, don't issue death threats, don't oh. call them like all these terrible things. Like oh. we had that, we had a situation like that where like supposedly like there was a lot of death threats being like thrown around to like Amy Keating Rogers yeah. just because of how one character acted. Oh, yeah. Do not do that. Okay, I'll get to that later. So okay, so you decided okay, I'm gonna do this because uh, I have this grand pers a grand news perspective on how to, how uh, someone approaches uh, the comics or the show. Okay, so let's talk about the style and topic of reviewing. So I really like that. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I found that. In, I found that in uh, uh, just yeah, yeah, clip art. Clip art. <laughs> so one thing you want to do first is find a topic or style that you're comfortable with. So what you want to bring up is uh, like okay, so you know, a lot of people would go around around there and say, oh, what what's your what's your niche. Uh, if you like the, if you're more of the, oh, I like the episodes. I'm a big fan of animation and all that. Go for the episodes. If you're a big comic geek, I was like, oh, like I'm a uh, big fan of the artwork and uh, like the, like the written word. Go for the comics. If you have an affinity for music, which I don't think has ever been touched, with the exception of like one or two people, go for music. Uh, yeah, pulls a tongue here. Um, uh, like go for that. And when I say that, be unique and be different. There you go. Uh, uh, if you're if you do something, if you do something different, you stand out. You get, you'll get a lot more notice. Uh, it, whether it's uh, whether it's how you present yourself, uh, whether it's an original character, although uh, whether what's original character you uh, do. Uh, if, for example, you like do something completely different, like uh, for example, either Silver Quill, Manga Comet, or um, uh, Doctor Wolf have it has a different OC, they stand out. Yeah. So uh, do something to stand out, and also, but if you, if you're unsure, like you. Have an idea of you know, what you want to do, but you uh, don't really have a grasp on your personality. One thing I recommend is take influence from other personalities and mold it into your own. Take influence, not rip off. I'll get to that. Um, but Invitation is the it's the satirist form of flattery. Uh, for example, um, my style is based off Arcana Glass Reflection. Uh, any anime fans at Arcana fans? Okay, one, two, one, or two. Uh, then. I have that style, but my inflections, my sort of personality, are based on the Channel Awesome reviewers. Uh, Boy Carr, mostly, D Doug Walker, uh, and again, National Radio Data, are just his like, uh, very deadpan, snarky attitude towards life. Uh, and I mold that into my own, and you get the voice of reason. What you don't do is outright steal a gimmick. Because you like people will notice uh, very bad. Uh, very easily, it's like you're just ripping off the nostalgia critic, and you're not even trying to hide it. Word travels fast in this community. Trust me. Somebody, one of us will hear yeah. about. It. I actually have a couple of imitators myself. Really? Um. Well, it's somehow not surprised. Yeah. Um. Actually, well, I, for a while, I I know what was it uh, Robin Zero Nine Two Eight, great kid. Uh, I do recommend you check him out. For a while, I noticed he was like, wait, is he copying what I'm saying? Or like, what's the yeah, he song? totally was. He totally <laughs> was. We even joked about that in our Buzzbuster review, saying that, say, says the pony, you copied me how many times? 
Uh, let's just move on. <laughs> I've got a few cop. I've forgotten a few people too. Like there was this one red and black OC. I don't remember exactly their name, but they're just like, I, if you can do it, so can I. Oh God, what have I started? <laughs> You're but, not supposed to do this. Basically, what we're trying to say is. Like a parent, you left off the children. Yeah. Basically, what we're trying to say is, don't be the irate gamer of the of the Brony community. Says the Cara of the Brony community. Um. Uh. Okay, so you uh, so you finally uh, got <laughs> so you finally say okay, I want to review uh, I want to review the show, but I have a great news perspective. Now it's time to set up uh, how you, how are you going to approach uh, doing these reviews? So one of the things the first thing to do is watch, read, or listen to the material multiple times. Notes are important. Uh, you'll get you'll get to know um, if you read. Uh, you'll know it like the back of your hand. Yeah, uh, second or third time, say, okay, now I know what I want to do. Uh, first time, uh, you don't always have to review automatically. Uh, you get to say, you look back and have fun. Unless you're watching Rainbow Falls, and like, oh god, what am I watching? <laughs> <laughs> like, I, like, like, you're just looking at all the problems, like, I don't want to be in review mode right now. <laughs> so small. Okay, so um, now that you want to do, take notes. Um, now that you've watched it uh, second or third time, oh, the second or third time you want to take notes uh, for talking points and also uh, jokes you want to bring up. It's like, ooh, I can really make fun of that, let me write that down. Uh, again, like the top ten jokes I can make about Flory Um uh, what, Now, once you have, okay, what you're going to say, now it's time to script out your lines. Uh, now you know what you're going to say, and or this way you can organize uh, all your facts uh, together and you can make a gen uh, generally good script and you get ready to record. Uh, but before you do that, I recommend doing a read-through before you record. So that way you can know how to say it. Yes, yeah, so you go from on. what to say to how you're going to say it. It actually helps if you like, uh, if you want certain inflections, like you capitalize um, certain words. Of other you don't have to close the door, by the way. Oh, I just gave water. Oh, never mind, she just gave water. Um, <laughs> uh, now that you have a uh, do a read through uh, before you record, you're all set. Um, what you don't do, and this is only if you're uncomfortable talking without a script, ad libbing. Hey. No. Hi. Hi. Okay. This is the only reason <laughs> I say that. Yep, you know, and we'll get to that. The only reason I'm saying that is because I've seen a lot of people ad lib their quote unquote reviews, yeah. and it looks completely unprofessional. It really does. So I've seen you, a lot of those. So when you have people, uh, like, for example, if I were to go up and say, and I would do an ad lib review, and I, you would hear, I, as people know me as the uh, voice of Uz. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> I, I'm terrible without a script, uh, or at least knowing what I'm going into first. So, there is, however, there is an exception when it comes to, uh, if you are going to ad lib, first impressions. Blogging and podcasting is totally okay. Uh, going off script. Uh, or because, if you're keen on 47 and are completely comfortable with yes, talking also, about script. Yes, also, right. Uh, there are people who are amazing talking about script and just going off from what they learn from their head. Um, also, yeah. it helps probably to, that they took notes during the episode. May I as well? When it comes to uh, ad-libbing, here's the thing. It, it, it can be a little difficult, but the best thing I can suggest is have bullet points. You want to be have a way to connect things in your head. Definitely run through it in your head first, and if you are going to just ad lib, have something in your mind first. That's very, very important. When it comes to blogging as well, I understand if you're just sitting there just kind of rambling on, but at least try to make it semi-professional, because people still watch your stuff, and if they see that like there's at least a personality or something funny to it, They'll enjoy it. Yeah, Paleo Steno is actually a good example of how to do a uh, sort of blog type type review. Yeah, he was one of like the the first ones. Or yeah, I'm actually talking about more recently. Oh, recently, yeah, with his stuff. Yeah. Yeah, if you if you watch Paleo Steno's uh, like animated movie reviews or like nerd movie reviews, I can see he does a lot of quick cuts, and he always has to like. Uh, Show images on the screen too. Yeah. Don't do what I did most of my early stuff. Now I'm actually putting effort into my yep. stuff. Oh, effort <laughs> content. Low effort content. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. I'm glad that it didn't turn into a chant. Anyway. All right, anyway. Uh, now, okay, so you have everything set up. You have your script. You're ready to read through. And now it's time to record. By the way, I love that image. That is pretty cool. Okay. So okay. starting off with dues, this is the number one thing I always recommend. Spend money on a good microphone. Uh, two, rec two, rec two I can recommend are the Blue Microphone Snowball and Yeti. Mm -hmm. uh, I use Snowball myself. Uh, works really well. I also recommend getting a pop filter. That way you don't, you know, pop your peas. No, pop filter. No, no, no. That's essential. You're going to need that because it, the popping is is not fun when you listen to that. Yeah. <laughs> to, to quote uh, 
a Don from Animaniacs. Oh, look, look, look who's talking, Mr. Pee Pop and Mike. I don't pop my peas. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, but yeah, there are also other good condenser mics. Um, you, you can find it. Uh, Canon and uh, sorry, Stoney has a couple of good ones. So uh, it's just a rock band microphone, like a long time ago. Though. Yeah, that was I'll get to that a little later. Um, also, an HD, ca uh, HD camera if you're going to be uh, on self. I say HD because pretty much everything's in HD now. Um, I'll say shotgun mic optional if you want to um, if you want to improve your audio quality. Because a lot of people, um, to quote Tomska, audio is okay. Whatever. Audio is more important than the actual video. Um, if you if you look great, that's fine. But if you sa if you sound wonky, uh, like if you said, for example, uh, the camera I'm using without a shotgun mic, uh, it would sound like I'm basically in a giant room. But if I no, no, don't do that. Yeah. Uh, but if I have a shotgun mic uh, on there, I actually bought one. I'm currently not using it. I'm an idiot. Uh, <laughs> um, it's uh, it'll you actually sound a lot cleaner. Uh, yeah, going for the cleaner sound. Now, for recording software, um, there are two I can actually recommend that I've used. One is Audacity. That's free. You can download it off the internet, no problem. For free? For free? For free! The best things in life are free. Hashtag not sponsored. <laughs> not sponsored. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, you can download, off, uh, download that. Uh, completely free. I use that. Actually, pretty much everyone I know uses that. Mm -hmm. um, but it's the easiest to use. Yeah, you? but if you want to go for a, something more that's involving mixing, Adobe Audition, but that's going to cost you. It's in, uh, it's uh, like, a, I think it's like what, $20 for one half on uh, the Adobe on the Adobe Creative Cloud. Have fun selling your soul. <laughs> I are, too late. I already sold my soul to Adobe. <laughs> um, <laughs> Uh, another thing I recommend, something I actually recommend for re when, when actually recording, multiple takes. A take, a B take, and a C take. Meaning, uh, basically what we're trying to say is, if you screw up uh, during, your fir during your first take, do it again. If, like, slur your, uh, if you sound like you're slurring your words, like, uh, okay, let me slow down, take a deep breath, let me try a second take. Or if you want to... No, don't do or, that! Or if you want to say a particular line differently. Yes. Uh, so, oh, uh, what well, if I go like a little more a little more emphasis, like, I really don't like this, let, let me show it here. Um, yeah, I really Here's don't. what you don't do. Use your onboard laptop mic. <laughs> <laughs> don't oh. ever do that. <laughs> You sound like garbage. Not you specifically, but your audio will sound like garbage. I've had so many times where I recorded, and I real and I realized uh, realized that the wrong mic was plugged in. What? Have fun doing all 15 minutes of that all over again. Oh, uh, it's not fun. With lots of screaming and yelling. And again, this is just uh, my preference, but your built-in webcam to record video only because it's shot in 4:3 and it could be choppy. Guilty. Yeah. Very guilty. Guilty is charged. I'm so glad I moved on. That. Yeah, so, uh, and also, don't use your first take. Unless it's your best. Which I, yes. It's okay. rare you can get it, okay, it's very rare that you can get it down in one go. I've met a few people that like did, just sat there, did one take, and it was like, perfect. You're gonna be definitely wanting to use more than one take. Mm -hmm. Now, they're all uh, alternatives in terms of recording. One of them is, as I mentioned before, the, your iPhone or your Android is actually a really good microphone. Um, on your, if you look up voice memos, you can actually record. Uh, I'm not sure how long, uh, whatever footage it is, um, but whatever, however long it's allowed you to record, you can actually record. Just make sure you're in a soundproof room. So yeah. in, if you're like in a, in a closet or in, a, well, actually, actually, some people I've seen people do. Kylie Bear does this. Is use um, your hotel room. And under the covers, and record lines, and then you can send it off to, to your agent. Exactly. That was I was like, oh, that's really cool. Oh, um, other is an HD webcam. Yeah, those usually have pretty good uh, yeah. audio. So. Yeah, and they don't run. They usually don't run that expensive. I've seen a couple that go for eighty. That that's generous. Uh, I know a national radio dead air uses <laughs> records that for the WTF is wrong with you series, which is all. Um, by the way. Uh, if you are of, of age, like 17 plus, I do recommend you check it out because it's shot and Freud is amazing. It is. My brother watched uh, it, but he's only eight. Okay. Uh, 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 little rough. Yes. Um, now, okay, so you're done recording. Now it's time for the dreaded phase, the editing. Oh, <laughs> dun, dun, dun. <laughs> Can't I have someone do all the work for me, though? Yeah, you yeah. did. But I'm not going to phase. I'm horse famous, though. <laughs> oh, okay, God. Get out of here, Katie. Uh, oh, 
Okay. Oh, oh, no, I wasn't going for that. I was not going oh. for that. Leave him alone. Hey, I'm sorry, KP, but not a... That was not... The, that that, that was, was a slip. Me. I'm so sorry. Anyway, we can edit that out. <laughs> Anyway, let's go uh, do editing. Now, this is a like show of money for a good editing software. The ones I recommend are the AAA editing. Avid, Apple, and Adobe. So that's Avid Media Composer, Final Cut, that's Apple's own editing service, and Adobe Premiere Pro. Uh, all three of them, I've used all three of them. Um, I, again, I, I primarily use Adobe Premiere Pro because I love the user interface. It's so, it's very user friendly for professional, um, for professional editing software. It's so good to use. Avid, uh, most of the, uh, more of the professional use, but there are, most of them are actually switching over to Adobe, which is awesome. Uh, Apple, uh, oh, uh, I haven't seen a lot of people use Final Cut. I think Ink, use, Ink Rose uses Final Cut. Mm -hmm. um, but everybody, if you can't afford like the big stuff, uh, next one I can recommend. Well, the first one I use is Sony Vegas, or now it is Sony Movie Maker. Um, although I think the one I had, I think only had like four tracks to it. Uh, it had it was limited because it had four. Uh, video tracks and for audio tracks, uh, so you, so the space is sort of limited, but make do with that what you can, especially if this is your first time reviewing. The other is, and I'm hesitant towards this, is Adobe Premiere Elements. Um, it has basically the same uh, functions as Adobe Premiere, but the user inter but the interface is not really user friendly. It's more for like the qu like the quick movies. That, that's hell. That's why they have a uh, uh, this one section where you say, oh, like, uh, everyone can use, like, a quick, like, make a quick movie and it's already done. Um, and now, now if you want to add extras, that's, again, it's going to, again, it's a little, it costs a little more, but if you want to add extras to make everything really shine and really sparkle, uh, there's a couple things. After Effects, uh, recommend if you want to add, like, explosions or other stuff. Photoshop. So Michael Bay it up. Michael Bay it up. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Photoshop, if you want to do, uh, want to help, if you want to, uh, I want to get like especially for imaging. I uh, want to want to make uh, interesting cuts. Illustrator to make stuff and GIMP also for making stuff, which is free. Um, uh, now don't unless you can't afford the others, which is <laughs> completely understandable. And now, those two are Windows Movie what Maker. What did I? I was about to say. And iMovie. Now Guilty. the only reason to say I if only uh, the only reason I say don't use it because uh, the the workspace is limited because. If I'm correct, I think Windows Movie Maker only has like a, like three or four tracks. Yep. Uh, it's very difficult what to work with. A video track, an audio track, and a text track. I don't know how I was able to use it for so long. I don't know how Robin is able to use it for so long. Like. Yeah. And I and iMovie um, actually works pretty well. I think Finn, Finn used to use it. I know, it Dr. Wolf uses Dr. it? Dr. Wolf always uses it. And it turns out amazing. I don't know how. Doctor, because he's Dr. Wolf. He's got some he magic timey whiny how. Remember when he was able to make videos like Snap Snap and we were wondering, how does he make these so quickly? He makes it work. Job. I know, right? <laughs> and does he do it at his job or something? Dr. Wolf is a robot. Dr. Wolf is a Time Lord. Uh, actually, yeah, I, isn't that one of the wild ass guesses on the, on the TV trope stage? <laughs> yes. Yeah, it is. <laughs> okay. Oh, Mr. Antero, he uses Windows Movie Maker. Oh, yeah, 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 he does that too. But, yeah. he, but he can get away with it because he doesn't really do multiple imaging at the same time. We're saving questions for the end, right? Yes, we're saving okay. questions for the well, end. It's, it's not so much a question, but a comment on the software. Yes. For people that want to try it for free, it takes some monkeying to get it to work. But Adobe has actually released their serial numbers for the CS2 family of products. Oh, that's cool. So you can get the whole thing. And like I said, Windows 7, you have to like put it in administrator mode after it's installed and all this stuff. There's a guide I, that you can find on how to do it. I have Windows 10, though. So you can try okay. it for free if you want to use OK, well, you might be, yeah. might be able to run in compatibility mode. OK, well, that's interesting. OK, so now you have your, uh, have your video editing ready to go, but there's one teensy tiny thing. You have a controversial opinion. Aha! Uh -huh. uh -huh. uh -huh. You like no, something no, that everyone else. No, no. You, you have like something that everyone else doesn't, but you hate something that everyone else loves. Does it start with friendship and end with witchcraft, boys? <laughs> <laughs> or, or you're completely in the middle where everyone's on both sides oh. and you have to pick a choice. Like, like, with, like you with Newbie Dash. Like me with Newbie Dash. Yes. Okay, so here's what you do. Uh, this is a very important provide constructive criticism. Explain. Uh, Don't just have a controversial opinion. Just I, I hate this it. episode because I said so. Yeah. Uh, again, explain explain your reasoning and provide alternative, like how you would have approached this differently. 
Uh, we'll, we'll save it for later. Um, also, and again, this is just so, and just for you guys, make sure it's known to the audience that this is your opinion. But you're wrong because Toon Critic said so, voice! Okay. <laughs> How do I have to put this? Like, your opinion does not reflect the overall collective of the... Everyone. Ev everyone. But Dr. Wolf said so! Well, here's, I want to tell you a little trade secret that I'm not that sure a lot of people get. All reviews are subjective. That means, like, there. That means reviewing with at least some bias. There is no way in heck you're going to be able to review without bias. For those who say, say objective reviews, it means that they're just recapping the episode. That's that's pretty much what an objective. Please don't just recap the episode. Everybody's done that. Just actually say what you think about it. Yes. It, uh, but if you if you have seen someone come across. Uh, oh, my, I review objectively, and then they say, "Oh, I don't like. Uh, I review. I like. I don't like this character." They're lying like, through their teeth. They are lying through their yep. teeth. They're reviewing it subjectively. Um, and here, now, here's what you don't do. And we mentioned this before. Call out the writing staff. You will. You will come across as an a-hole. There was one incident I recall seeing on Twitter that some guy called out Big Jim Miller, and he got so pissed off that he actually left Twitter for about a week. Don't do that. Don't be that guy that pisses off the writing staff and gives the community not exactly a good name. Yes, just because you said, okay, focus on their work, not the person itself. Exactly. Which I'm guilty of with my Dragon Quest review when I called out, I didn't say Mary Rebel Williams was a good writer. Uh, but anyway, another thing you don't want to do, and this is, could get you even more heat, antagonize your audience. <laughs> oh. oh, wow. I have. Seen many, many people try and who say uh, have a controversial opinion. Going somewhere? No, no, I'm good. I don't know anything about that. <laughs> no. <laughs> I have never once antagonized my audience. Okay. Well, let me be blind. Be. I've seen. Like that. That. Okay. <laughs> there's the, okay. There's the joke that oh, my opinion's better than yours because I have a YouTube channel. Like we're joking. <laughs> Right, right, but really. there are some people who actually take that seriously. Like, because I, because I have a YouTube channel, I have X amount of subscribers, my opinion is automatically better than yours. And there's always the, uh, there's always like certain phrases, uh, I know Anthony C. joked about this in the, uh, his channel on whatever. I don't I, like this episode! It's a bad it's episode! It's a bad episode! You should feel bad, bad for launching it! it. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone knows it. Yeah, Anthony C. Again, kidding, but yeah, there are people who take that seriously, and oh, my favorite one that I saw in their review like f two years ago, you don't know any better. And they took it seriously. Oh. oh. I was furious with that review. Like, it, and keep what on, was the review? It was, I'm correct, it, well, I won't name names, but it was a Crystal Empire review. Uh, it was in the, and it was a minute 30 into the episode review. Was it anybody we know? No. Okay. All right, then I don't. Know. Okay. But okay. was it that bad? Oh yeah. Minute thirty in, they already said you don't like, uh, like you don't know any better. It's like, wow, I already don't like you. Like I'm going. I'm I know exactly who you're talking about. Yes. Right. 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 Okay. Dawson knows, but okay. Here's like, the thing. Won't be able to name it. No. With antagonizing your audience, I'm gonna point something yeah. out. With the whole cartoon thing that was going on, with antagonizing your audience, they should be aware that it's a joke. If people take it seriously. They need to understand that what we're doing here, we're not here to actually antagonize people. It's all for a story or a joke. So some people need to not take things so seriously. Mm -hmm. so. Now, and also another thing, don't be afraid to have a controversial opinion. Yes. It's, it's something I it's okay, do. like yeah, it's okay to not like an episode or like something that everyone else hates. Like I actually I mentioned this uh, before getting here. Uh, a while on Skype. I was like, hey, I, I have no controversies. Well, except for the fact that I said I didn't like No Second Francis. I called Luna overrated. I said I like Princess Spike. You got so much hate for calling Luna overrated. I was reading through those comments and like, oh god, voice, this is getting terrible. Oh, oh, oh segue. Oh, and oh, I'll get to that. And, and I said, and I, and I said that I did like Red of Witchcraft. You're the biggest. And I, and, I said that, and I said that Crystal Empire was a better premiere than the two, the two opening pilots. You know, I better bring a riot shield next time I go to a convention. You really should. <laughs> I'll bring a riot shield. I don't mind. Oh. Uh, but anyway, so actually now that we got to that, 
It's time to deal with the comments section. Oh. Uh, dun, 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 I don't want to deal with that. I'm just going to disable the comments. Don't do that. Okay. Oh. Okay, so first thing, first thing you want to come across with, again, dealing with the cesspool, that is the YouTube comment section. Okay, don't call it a cesspool. It is a cesspool. It is. It is. It is. You're calling these people a cesspool. I'm, I'm, I'm not going to use I'm going to comment. I don't really ever comment. comment. Okay. Yeah. Hey, so, hey, you know, you're and be kind. Be kind. Like, like if they provide feedback, uh, and they probably say, oh, like, what are you doing? So, oh, I thank you. Uh, or if they say, like, uh, if they have like a giant four-page essay about why they, why my opinions wrong, it's like okay, I understand your perspective. Uh, and also listen to some of the criticisms because not, like a lot of the times your audience is actually smarter than you. Uh, I've seen that. I've seen that happen with me. Uh, like I got the keys wrong in uh, the bridal gossip review, and I actually I think it was in my inspiration manifestation review uh, where I called uh, the. W.C. Fields pony, the guy with the puppets, uh, older snails. I was like, don't you mean sniffs? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Before you do that, though, stick around. There's one little thing I want to get you guys involved in. So. You actually did uh, bring up, like, um, uh, like oh. in someone, they made a response to your friendship with witchcraft video. Would you yes, and I actually said, oh, that's actually a different. Oh, yeah, it was a spiral eyed maniac, I think was the guy's name. And you said, and you told your audience to go check it out. Yeah, I told them to check it out. It's actually, uh, a different uh, perspective of how you use it. Also, there are going to be those people who use like to use the colorful language that I will not say up here. You can actually filter those out, and it goes right to spam. It's amazing. Really? Yeah. Yes. Why has nobody told me this? <laughs> okay, it's uh, you go into your YouTube manager uh, for I think it's like I forgot where it is, but. For comments, there you can actually filter out certain words. If they use those words, they go right to spam. So yes, all the edgy people can finally go away. <laughs> 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 so so you hit, says the major edgy. Edge says the edgy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, you can get rid of the people who say the "see you next Tuesdays" and the British cigarettes. Really? Uh, yeah. That's that nice. <laughs> First off. <laughs> oh. Okay. Yeah, you can actually do that, and it's amazing. They get and they go right to spam. Oh man, that's. Here, but what you don't do, I know we uh, said, again, uh, antagonize your audience, and also, don't enter a comment fight. You're gonna lose. No one looks good in a comment fight. I think there's a song that you should call it. You do comment fight. Yeah. Don't start playing more in the comment section. Uh, and if, okay, here's the thing, here's what you want to do, saying this right now, this is from personal experience, if you see a comment fight that's happening in your videos, delete the chain. Just oh. stop it before it gets that way out of hand. Okay, so now that you've gotten your review out, you dealt with the comments, you you managed to get by on a controversial opinion. Now it's time to collab with people. Yeah! 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 Collabs are honestly some of the most fun that we have out that we can ever have. Whether it's a TF2 series, whether it's analyst bronies react, uh, all of this. Yeah, and I think even the small one-on-one -on -one collabs. Yep. Yeah. yeah. And let's talk about like what. Like cartoons and horror score, oh, right? Yeah. <laughs> I'm still salty over that. <laughs> uh, but yeah, in terms of collaborating with others, there are two ways you can go that. One is for fun, because that's what, that's the majority of what we do uh, with collaboration. Because you have two comedians uh, getting involved in each other. Let's make let's let's make jokes. Let's review this episode and make jokes about the episode. Absolutely. It's, it's also fun to compare different perspectives on the episode. Yeah, which, which gets into more debates. Oh. Yeah, you want to see someone have an opinion on an episode, they have another opinion, let's see that they can go at it. That's what makes it fun. A good example of that is my Dragon Quest review with Buck Brony. Two different two different perspectives on how we view the episode colliding. Or say my review with Golden Fox on Super Speedy. Remember that? Yep. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to remember the one that um was was in. It was it was a about Mysterious Murder Oh, right, right. Mysterious Murder Wolf, a mass code. Um, yeah, Master Shark. Shark discusses in British. Uh, British uh, Ninja. No, British 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 Ninja. I always I texted uh, back Buck when we were, we were doing this over Skype. Like, oh my god, this is I like, miss Buck. What happened to Buck? Uh, he's still doing, um, I think he's focusing on like Disney stuff right okay. now. Oh. Uh, also, before you actually do a collaboration, have a good resume. Uh, I you know I have no subscribers and I've never done any work before and I have no vectors. Please collab with me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, have a good resume. I usually say like three to 
four uh, episodes under your belt, uh, episode reviews under your belt. That way, um, if you ask for, someone asks for a collaboration, they know, like, okay, they I... They know who you are. They, they know, know you know are. They know what your comedic or review for you. Their yeah, reputation precedes your Mr. Toon credit. Yeah, and once you have that, that way you'll know if you and your collaborator are compatible. Not um, everyone's going to click. That's, it sucks. And some, pe and some people... Be. Yeah, and some people will, re you will receive rejection if you're not clicking. Uh, Josh actually pointed this out uh, a couple times during, I think it was the, uh, what was it, the Comedy Through Critique panel, uh, about the straight man, the, the straight man, the over-the-top guy, and it's meeting somewhere in the middle. Right. So, a uh, good example of that, um, uh, good example of that is, uh, like, Silver Quill and, uh, I guess so. A so called Josh. They they met they met in the middle. Josh and myself meet in the middle. Tomb Raider and I meet in the middle. Um, or good at over the top meets the straight man. Um, uh, let's see if I can remember. Uh, again, the over the barrel view that Josh did with uh, Louis Pete. That's actually a good uh, straight man to. Did you uh, say Louis Pete? Louis Pete. Okay, just check. <laughs> I, I may slur my words because I'm uh, currently uh, foaming up the mouth right now. <laughs> hey, hey, my, hey, buddy, my, my good buddy, can you get some water for the boys real quick? Uh, thank you, sir. Um, uh, so you make sure you click. Yeah, again, make sure you click. You have good. Uh, make sure you have collaborative chemistry, as it were. Yes. God, yeah, see what you did. There. Thank you, sir. There you go. Sure, have the parent do the hard work. <laughs> we love you, manga. Well, give it up for manga. Yeah, uh, I mean, like, share, share the work, unless one wants to do all the work. Um, can you like edit this and do everything for me, please? <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, I'll pay you. How much? <laughs> it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Uh, but yeah, share the work. Talks. I share the work, and like someone wants to do the video editing while one does the audio editing, I always usually prefer. Try to have some balance to yeah, it. Yeah, uh, when it comes to, uh, I always offer to do audio editing because I'm usually good with uh, uh, audio syncing. Um, uh, but yeah, uh, have, have and I, crap, I think I just mixed the colors up on this one. Whoops! Oops! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, because I was gonna You done that. goof! <laughs> yeah, you botched not, it up, boys! That's not quite right. Okay. <laughs> You're going up on the Okay, good to know. You have one job, boys! <laughs> but anyway, what you don't do is yeah. use it to increase your popularity. Aww. Only, uh, or rather, okay, it's fine to do a collaborate. Um, for example, someone has a, a big channel. You're you're a small channel. Want to get more more stuff known because you have good material. Uh, but increase it just because you want to be popular. Well, that you see, here's the thing though: how people make their way up in terms of like gaining a bit of a fan base. Of course, you have to do collabs too. That's going to increase your popularity when you have someone who has more subs versus someone who has barely any. There's going to be of some more uh, amount of exchange. Or something. Right. But what you don't want to do is have your first review be a collaboration. No. You want to establish yourself first. Uh, although we have had a couple exceptions: Key, yeah. Keyframe, Film Sparks, um, um, Grand Pause. Uh, the the guy in the during the uh, the supplemental video for New Prince of Dream Act cheat for Silver Quill. Oh Silver right right that guy. Yeah, that guy. All, all of them were all of them were first all of them were first views and all of them clicked with uh, Silver. It's a good way also collaboration if this is a rare exception if you're doing a collab and you've never known before and you can have like a little bit of something for you like a little bit of a channel or some some experience that'll be good for a little bit of exposure for you. I guess I could be a little bit of an exception. Uh, yeah, uh, actually, I think we're probably going to joke about this. Girlfriend <laughs> privilege. <laughs> actually, we're kind of joking this. Uh, we're actually going to do a review of uh, My Little Pony, the movie from 86. I got a joke. It's like, I, um, I think Horace Girl and myself um, were joking, like, oh, I'm, I'm inviting her for a collaboration. Like, like I, can't believe we're doing, like, I can't believe we're doing this before my review. It's like, I, okay, I'm currently doing this currently taboo in the reviewing community. I don't need more of your crap right now. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody um, say taboo? No, I'm kidding. Uh, oh, but as I said earlier, don't leave the workload on one person. No. Um, unless they want to do it. Uh, yeah, like, like I said, if they want to, and you can't stop. If it. they offer, like yeah. okay, that's totally fine. Like and like Ronnie. I most I did like most of the writing. Like I wrote the opening yes. skit for the review, and of course you brought. 
No, you brought in the, your own opinions. You come, came up with some of the jokes, but I think I did the majority of the writing. Yeah, actually, yeah, I think you did. Also because uh, she has have a good editing software, so I also kind of joked about that during our It's like, well, you guys really have a good editing software, so I decided to come over here. <laughs> um, also, don't take a, a huge project to start off. It's always good to start small, just one-on-one. -on -one. Don't go for the 10-person collab right off the bat, because uh, those huge projects are pain, just saying. A, a good example of that, uh, do you remember the Day of the Doctor review? Yes, that's one of the that's, that's, that's a big one. Yes, that started, uh, I think we started, uh, let's see, what was that? We started that in, like, De I think in, like, December? That took two months to do. Yeah, considering how many people we had for it. We had Cam Ghost Pony, we had Jim Fleer, we Ellie. had Voice of Reason, we had Eliora, Robin. we had myself, we had Robin, we had Looney, we had Buck. Um, I think yeah, Buck, uh, Give and Take was Give on there. Give and Take. A&Y was on there. A&Y. Uh, yeah. Music Reborn. Music Reborn. A Male Isle of Corn. A Male Trouble Isle of Corn. Notes. Trouble Notes. Uh, there was one more. Uh, I, don't think, was, I don't think Looney was part of that. Who was? I thought Looney was. No, because... Mm, was it? Eternal, no. no, that was for the uh, the season finale for. Right, the, right, right. Okay, my bad. There was yeah, one more for thirteen, and I'm blanking on who it is. Uh, I'll look it up. I'll look it up. Yeah, look it up. Um, but yeah, the, the, again, one on one is always a good place to start. So yeah, I think that's it. Let's talk. Uh, hey, real quick, turn on the lights. I got a surprise. So you guys know something important today. It is Ellie Hora's birthday. <laughs> If you give credit, yeah. credit is important. Yes, that, yeah, yeah. yeah, I think uh, Josh during his, um, I, th I think it was in his Rainbow Rocks uh, review for Lester, for Les, uh, for uh, uh, Lester T. Flank, um, uh, mentions oh, uh, inspiration from Doug and Will. Um, yes, um, oh wait. I actually have to say, like, um, like you've seen my, my one review on the front of the Magic Tyler, right? Yes. I actually took inspiration from your uh, your STEM style of viewing, but I decided to make it my own and and instead of just give it a ranking, but give each category a ranking as well. And then yeah. Give it overall average. Okay. Yeah. That's yes. Yeah, I've seen that. Um, yes. Actually, because you should give credit like if it's a parody as well, like everything you're wrong with. Yeah, you, yeah, you should give like, like little shy of my yeah. 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 You should give like a video like please support the official release of this channel, yada yada yada, and this show. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like yeah, show following the fan base parody, please support the official release. Yeah, but, yeah, they always... And describe and leave me a description box of the channel you just parody. Yeah, just parody of. Yeah, but yeah, I know a lot of people. She should be up there answering questions. <laughs> 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 Alright, uh. And, yeah. um, 
brings us to another point, like the whole copyright monster. Oh yeah, the whole thing yeah. about the whole thing about copyright. It's inevitable. Um, to do your best uh, to tr to to try and work with what you got. Uh, That's what, like like um like in my in my review as well. I like the first slide I had was was tell that this is a review of a product and yes. go support the official release. Like, yeah, I, the I, first thing you see. Yeah, I do that. I do that Amanda reviews during the credit uh, during the credits. Uh, during, uh, during the uh, during the credits, even I put like the uh, disclaimer uh, that it's uh, falls uh, that this is a review falls under fair use, etc. Uh, any other questions? You mind if I chime in on that sure. uh, copyright thing since I'm sure. like the copyright guy at this point? Um, yeah, the thing is, you don't don't let the copyright thing scare you. It's, Don't be me, basically, because that's exactly what happened to me. <laughs> yeah, you, you can't let them intimidate you because they will attempt to. No matter what you try to do, they're going to go. They're going to come back at you saying, "No, you're in the wrong, and here's why you're in the wrong." But you, unless they have actual legal counsel, you're not. Uh, they don't have any quarter. Like Derek Savage. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, the cool cat guy. Less said yeah. about him, the better. Yeah. <laughs> uh, any other uh, any other questions? Uh, yeah. Yes. Uh, how easy would it be if you were like a text-based review to do the video? Oh, uh, wait. So text to uh, like you like do you all do you do text-based reviews? Like just once a week. Okay. Well, um, well, I do, well I've done some text-based uh, reviews. Like I did a uh, uh, like a like a catch up on season six. Yeah, catch up on season six. My overall thoughts on. Season five. Season five, actually, and I did like an editorial piece on why I thought Luna was not that hot of a character. Uh, but that so was originally going to be a video, but then you just decided to make it in vlog form. Right, and so uh, going from text to video, um, you get, it, you're talking about going like text reviews, like text reviews going and like specifically text reviews, and then transitioning Transition to, video. to video. It's actually well, using well. One thing you can do is use that text review as your script, or yeah, your like your ba or your basics, and tweak some uh, tweak whatever. Um, do you uh, do you plan on going to video reviews? Uh, no, I'm just curious. Well, hey, you can make text reviews work. I think what what I do, I make them DeviantArt journals, and then yeah. I put like images every now and then to show what I'm talking about. Or if there's a joke I want to make, I include that as a joke. You can work with limitations. I think if you can't make videos, or if you don't want to take the time to do it, then like writing is like the best way to do yes. it. That's probably what I was going to do anyway, because I'm a writer anyway, I write all kinds of fiction, and I feel more comfortable writing things than talking anyway, so I feel like I'm, if I am going to start reviewing, I'm probably going to do written reviews first, and if I feel like doing videos later, I'm probably going yeah, to Yeah, that's actually not a bad start, like, write, writing stuff down, uh, mm -hmm. and like create, I, I, hell, that's actually what I wanted to do um, for a while. Like, Writing scripts um, for like potential reviews in the future. I've always wanted, to, um, oddly enough, I wanted to be the next nostalgia critic. But for like <laughs> two thousand, like for two thousands based stuff, everybody wants to be the next nostalgia critic. Yeah, we get so much nice. crap that we're basically ripping off nostalgia. Yeah, critic. I started hating nostalgia critic. Oh, well, it's, it's gotten better. But my brother watches them. He's like, he watches all these Titanic, all that Titanic two, Star Wars, and um, well, anyway, um, yeah. Yes, there was a sequel. Yeah. Oh yeah, I heard about or I heard about Titanic you know. too. There's so many oh, different it's Titanic anime. It's technically it's not. Yeah. Well, there's also it's a race, there's also raising the Titanic. There's also Titanic. Titanic. <laughs> 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 By the way, if you ever see Keyframe at a convention, say Titanic to her. That'll that'll get a good reaction. Don't, don't, don't say you didn't get us <laughs> here. Another uh, yes. Question. Um, when you are putting yourself on to your audience. Mm -hmm. Do you find it better to like create a character, or to have like if you have an OC to work from that OC out? Do you work in your character, or you work out? It depends, because my 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 character voice reason the screenplay and voice score are sort of extensions of myself. Like when you when you hear, when you hear me rage, that's me, that's me. Like oh, I finally get to project and like uh, like uh, uh, show my disdain on this uh, this episode, but if I'm more, I'm also again very goofy, very snarky. That's that's me being me. Um, but uh, in terms of like being a character, uh, I, I know a couple. Um, 
I'm not sure. Like, well, too, you probably talked about this. Like, be, like being the, like uh, projecting yourself into a character. Yeah, I, I know a lot about that with cartoons. Uh, when it comes to being yourself versus a character, I think it's best if people see it's naturally you. You can put on a character. Here's the thing: anyone can put on a character. Anyone can act. But I think what people want to see most is who you are. Not like behind a character or anything, but who you are. Coming up with a character is a fun part too, because if you, let's say you're yourself versus a character that you're playing, that can be pretty fun to work off of. It just needs the right setting or the right motivation or something like that. But I always suggest be yourself. Because if people see you as just a character and then they meet you at conventions, they're only going to see the character. It's best if they see you above anything else. Yeah. And again, there are people who prefer not to use an OC and just use them, just put themselves in front of the camera and then yeah. just be a... Yeah, oh, like, not all oh, a perfect example of this is uh, Noah Antwi, the Spoony one. Like the the Spoony one is like his own character, but in real life he's like very shy, uh, very shy, and not and not, not as uh, not as sociable. But uh, the character he's able to project uh, project outward about his uh, thoughts and feelings on uh, life, like like geeky stuff that he's experienced over the years. Yeah. Uh, the next question. Uh, yes. Uh, should a newer viewer stick to newer materials, or should they cover uh, older seasons? I think uh, it's best to stick yes. to current right now because that's what's popular, and people are going to start looking up things about the episode. If you so happen to be like somebody who's talking about the episode, they'll pick up on it because it's current. Yes, yes. current stuff is always good. Um, the only exception I'd say for that is um, for either music or if you're reviewing comics because you have a giant backlog that no one's ever touched. Uh, How many people review the comics? And I can think of like two or three, like Sketchy Does, Comic Sans, and Silver. Silver and Silver. Silver. Silver's pretty much jumped to the comics. He at this point. he does uh, the mostly text reviews on EQD for. Can the you blame him? The guy is like a backlog, like as big as this room, practically. <laughs> and I, I dabble in the comics as well uh, whenever I touch. Although um, I, I mentioned this on your on your panel. Um, I, I've been teasing that I'm going to review Root of the Problem. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that episode, uh, which is Root issues 27 and 28. Thankfully, he just picked up these issues. I picked yesterday. up. I picked up the issues yesterday. Uh, what I fa actually I found out. Uh, that I already I, did it first. So. Nah, 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 nah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> what Don't I, do that. Don't be that guy. <laughs> Don't be like, like, so experience. I was like, oh yeah, I get to um, finally get to review uh, Root of the Problem. Um, when I saw Linkara was saying, he now saying, oh, by the way, I'm reviewing my little pony comic. I was like, oh, let's, I'm excited. Okay. Through the problem. Okay. <laughs> Dang it. Dang it. <laughs> like, like and I'm already noticed Linkara the pony, the pony reviewers. I don't want to, I want to be plagiarizing. So, yeah, so I'm going to work, I'm going to be work. that's my next review, like the top five things wrong with uh, the root of the problem. The root of the problem. Of, oh, of the, the root of the problem. problem. <laughs> Catchy title. That's another thing, actually. Can I can I point this out? Yeah, if you have a catchy title too, because if it's just this character's thoughts on blank, why don't you have an interesting video title? Because people are more than likely going to click on an interesting video title than just a generic like sort of thing. Silver Quills out of the fact. And and also, taking too seriously. This is something that I don't recommend, but I've used before. A catchy thumbnail. But there's a way to do it. There's good catchy thumbnail that's going to attract your attention. And then there's clickbait. Don't be clickbait. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, like yep. One of my most popular videos actually accidentally touched on a key word. Like I was doing an analysis on a topic and the title had the name Dyslexia in it, a ship name. Uh, I checked the YouTube analytics on it. It popped and ninety percent of the views were from the YouTube search bar. Mm. And it wound up getting like ten times the views of anything else I've done. Mm. That can be a good thing. Sometimes it just depends on the quality of the work. Yeah. Um, yeah. I think we have about five more minutes. Any any last minute questions? Uh, we can plug our stuff. I guess. Oh yeah. Okay. So yeah. Uh, right. But right now, I've been told at least three times now that when go on down to the charity auction that's going on right now because apparently there's not a lot of people uh, there. It's in the Christmas Fire Caverns over there. Um, Where we have uh, Hooves Lie and Lipstick Battle. Yeah, at 10 p.m. Central tonight is my 
one hour comedy hour thingy. So if you want to if you want to be there for that, I'm going to be talking about a lot of stuff that Voice did, but also personal story stuff. So please, I advise you to come out for that. Yes. <laughs> yes, it'll be plus 18. So if you'd like to bring drinks, if you'd like to just chill and have a good time, please feel free. Yes. All right. Well, thank, thank you, thank you, everyone for attending. Uh, you awesome Gentlemen, party. did you bring your business cards this time? Yes, I will. Well, and also, I apologize for just sitting in and barging in on Voice's panel. I'm sorry. Actually, you helped out a lot. Okay, good. I was, I was yes, you did. Thank you. All right. Okay. All right. Anyway, thank you for attending. Uh, enjoy the convo, the cherry auction.